from Rosman Running. Hope you're doing well, staying safe, training hard. And we're back today with another kit review. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I need to remember how to do it. But um, today we are talking about bone conducting headphones, and in particular, two brands, the Salifo X15 and the Halu Perfri BC01. So, if you ever tried bone conducting headphones before, and if you haven't tried them, sorry, it's definitely worth a try. Um, they're designed to enable you to uh, listen to music, podcasts, etc., uh, by sending sound vibrations through your cheekbones out here, um, and that allows you to to hear the music a bit like whales do, basically under the water. Um, obviously, with your headphones being pressed against your bone cheeks, that leaves your ears exposed. Therefore, you can still hear um, other noises around, ambient noises, traffic, etc., etc. So, et so um, it leaves, leaves the canal, ear canal open, basically. So, uh, it's obviously a safety feature. Um, there are pros and cons to that, but um, it's for running, obviously, when you're uh, running long distances, things like that, you're doing road crossings, it's obviously good to have that as a safety feature. Um, when it comes to running myself, generally I prefer to, to go without headphones. Um, I like to hear the, the, the noises surrounding me, uh, birds and, and what have you, um, rather than listen to music. But I have got a big 100 mile race coming up. So as that's going to be very much, uh, or a chunk of it is gonna be in the dark, um, I thought I would uh, get myself a, some uh, bone conducting headphones like these um, to help me through those witching hours. So that's why I decided to do a review on them. I thought I'd buy a couple and uh, and see uh, which one was best. So um, let's crack on. Um, obviously there are lots of bone conducting headphones in the market. Um, the most popular brand by far is Shox, uh, but they also come with the highest price point. They do have a cheaper version, but if you want a uh, decent performance, then you're gonna be looking at their open run um, series of, of headphones. Um, but these are good alternatives. There's not always, you know, you don't always have to go for the Shox brand. So that's what we're looking at today. So first of all, I picked up the Sunifo X15. Now, because I'd never used um, bone conducting headphones before, I didn't want to spend a fortune on them. So I thought, well, you know what, I'll go and see what's, what's available on Amazon and um, pick up a pair there. So the Sunifo X15 retail for $39.99 uh, on Amazon. So cheap, I guess, for bone conducting headphones. Um, they weigh in at only 27 grams. Um, they are, have Bluetooth uh, version 5.3, so that's quite good. Um, they are waterproof to IP56 rating. That's not fully waterproof, but I guess sweatproof, splash proof, that type of thing. Um, they have uh, OT closed anti-leak technology 3.0, so it's called, um, and that's just basically so you don't lose too much of the sound. Um, they have a 360 degree fully enclosed uh, cavity to minimize sound leakage as well, um, and they have a wraparound titani titanium uh, alloy frame for comfort and stability. Um, the battery life is um, stated at eight hours, um, with a 10 minute quick charge, which will give you an additional one and a half hours of listening. Uh, and the charging type is a USB-C um, cable. So what's in the box? Let's take a look. So this is the box it comes in. If I just open that out there, get rid of the packaging. You'll notice behind me I have another box here. We'll come to that later. So inside the box, you get a user guide. So quite a decent user guide, QR code on the back as well. Uh, just telling you all about the product, how to connect it with the Bluetooth, etc. We'll come back to that. Uh, you get two sets of um, earplugs. Um, they are obviously, if you want to block out all the amb ambient noise, not a good idea when you're running, but if you want to block out all the ambient noise around you, you can pop those in and then just uh, listen to the music. Uh, you've got the charging cable, this is a USB-C charging cable, standard USB-C cable. And then you've got the headphones themselves. So here they are. Open ear, written on the side, X15 on the inside. You've got three buttons, I'm sure you can see that, three buttons across the top there. That's how you control the device. 
Um, the center button is the power on and off device. The other two buttons are volume up and down and also track skip as well. So that's what's inside the box. In terms of charging um, and Bluetooth pairing, um, the charging port is on the bottom of the right hand uh, headphone. So you just pop out this piece here, see if we can get that out. It's not that easy actually, there you go. Pull that out, that's like a rubber stopper to stop the water getting in. And there's your charging port. Um, when you're charging, you get a red dot flash up there when it's in charging is in progress. You get a green dot when it's finished charging. As for the um, Bluetooth connectivity, very, very easy. When the headphones are in an off state, you press and hold the, the center button there for five seconds. You'll get a noise to say that the, the headphones are in Bluetooth pairing mode. Just pick up the X15 on your mobile phone uh, when you Bluetooth pair and that connects it seamlessly. Very easy to do. Okay, comfort and fit. So I found these to be relatively comfortable. It's got quite a plasticky feel to it, um, especially around this, this area. But the the pad that's uh, or the part that's pressed against your cheek actually has like a rubber uh, rubber uh, back to it. So if you pop it on there, you can see they're not that intrusive. They fit relatively comfortable, um, and the plastic effect isn't really um, uh, compromising the comfort of the fit. They sit quite well on the back of the neck here. Um, but I guess if you're wearing a baseball cap particularly if you've got it turned the wrong way around the other way, you can find that the peak of the cap will press against that. So just be wary of that. And obviously wearing glasses, that's gonna be tricky uh, because you've got this part wrapped around your ears around here. Um, but otherwise quite comfortable. Um, I wore them on a, a four hour run. I tried to wear them again on another hour run and run out of battery. Um, but we'll come across to that, uh, back to that in a bit. Okay. So in terms of performance, so the sound quality um, I found works well on the podcasts um, with adequate bass uh, when listening to music. Uh, podcasts, as with all uh, bone conducting headphones, can be drowned out. So if you've got somebody um, you know, talking on the podcast and you're going past an area with heavy traffic, the traffic can definitely overwhelm the sound. Um, that can happen and does happen with a lot of these bone conducting headphones um, but otherwise I think the performance is pretty good especially for something of this this quality uh, of this uh, price point um, and just lastly the three buttons here very easy to navigate if you've got big fingers it can be difficult sometimes to press the center button in when you're trying to get get to that but you just have to be quiet you know put the tip of your finger in there and then it's okay Otherwise, generally, um, quite easy to operate. No issues, quality is relatively good in terms of sound performance, so pretty good there all around really, uh, especially for the price. So, and then we come on to, I guess, a conclusion for these. Um, there are some pros and cons. Um, the pros are pretty good. So, as I mentioned, the sound quality is good. Um, works well for podcasts apart from when you're in heavy traffic um, good level of comfort uh, fit well considering the price you pay they are quite rigid and things around the ear you know this part isn't bendy at all really this part here um, there's a little bit of give in there but not a lot this bit obviously is around the back here but yeah I mean it's quite rigid around there so I don't know how long you would wear these for before they got uncomfortable, but I, I wore them comfortably for well, three, four hours, whatever it was, um, and they were okay. I didn't have to take them off, so that's a good thing. Um, they're easy to use. Bluetooth pairing is easy as well, and the controls are simple. So you can't really uh, complain about that, really, for, for the 40 quid that it cost to pay them. It's pretty good. Now the cons, and this is a big con. <laughs> um, the battery is a problem. So I couldn't test the battery life of eight hours, as they said. And the reason being is when, when I got them, they come almost fully charged. So I got a good four hours use out of them on the first run. 
On the second run, they ran out halfway through. I thought, okay, well, I didn't charge them to full when I got there, so fair enough. They probably had six hours battery in them. Um, I should have charged them up before I left the house. However, I then obviously got home, made sure that these were dry because one of the big problems with these are is that even though they're IP56 rated, if they're wet or damp, you can't charge them until they're dried out. <clears throat> so I had to dry them out, wait sure they're dry before I started charging them. Plugged them in, couldn't get it to charge. Tried everything. Plugged the, this cable into my computer, plugged it into a USB hub, plugged it into the wall socket using an adapter, just could not get these things to charge up. So I went online um, to Amazon. Uh, they were very helpful. They said it's probably just a battery fault. Um, they'll send me another pair for free. This is where the second box comes in. So this is the second pair I got. Um, out of the box, they had no charge. I thought, fine, I'll charge them up and then we'll head out on the run. Wouldn't charge at all. Tried everything again. Couldn't get, just couldn't get them to charge at all. So at this point I'm thinking, right, okay, is the build quality any good? How good are these batteries? There's a reason that these things are 40 quid. Um, so it makes it hard for me to um, to recommend these for purchase, really. Um, it's a shame because actually the quality you get um, isn't that bad in terms of sound quality, comfort, you know, sound quality, comfort, etc. It's all pretty, pretty good, but um, unfortunately, if you can't charge them what use are they so i expect if i go back they'll give me a refund or send me another one um, the ratings on amazon were pretty good for these 4.3 out of 5 um, but you never know whether those ratings are accurate or not um, so i don't know but i tried two pairs got the same issue with two pairs so they're off that brings me on to the Halo Perfree BC01. So that's this one here. Obviously I bought these after buying those. I thought I'd try those out first. Um, they didn't work. I bought these ones knowing they were more expensive, but also knowing that I had some seen some reviews on them before, which were pretty good. And I thought, well, let's get a pair for myself and see what they're like. So the Halo Perfree. BC01 retail on Amazon for 99.95, uh, which makes them not as cheap as the cheapest Shox headphones, but also not as expensive as their competitor. So the one that you would compare this to is the Open Run, not the Open Run Pro, but the Open Run, um, which are I think priced at 129.99. Might be slightly wrong, might be 120 pounds, but I think it's 129.99 uh, for the Shox Open Run. These are 99.95. Um, they weigh in at 28 grams. Um, they have Bluetooth 5.2 uh, with dual device connection. So not the 5.3 that the others had, but they do uh, connect to two devices at one time, which is pretty cool. Um, they have a much better IP rating for waterproof. So they are IP67, which basically means they're fully waterproof. Um, and also you can charge them when they're wet, so it's not a problem. Um, they have noise cancellation in them. Um, they have premium sound quality uh, built in. Um, they have wraparound titanium alloy frame for comfort and stability, a bit like the others, um, but slightly different. And the battery life is stated at eight hours with a 10 minute fast charge for an extra two hours worth of listening. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And the charger, uh, the USB charging cable has a magnetic traction to it, so it so it makes it a bespoke cable, but it's also very simple to charge your device. So what's in the box? Let's have a look. Box is this nice little pull-out box here. See on the back there, it says these are the red dot winner for 2022, so that's always encouraging. So let's pop these out. So let's take that off. Got a nice box here, it opens up like a bit like a suitcase. Oh. If he says you can open it up, here we are. So, what would you get in the box? So, first of all, we have the charging cable. So, this is the magnetic charging cable. Let me just unwrap that. You can see here, hopefully, you have a magnet on there that just clips onto the device and there's standard USB uh, port on the other side. Um, you obviously have the headphones, this is the Halo headphones. 
and these headphones are coated in like a rubber which makes them very comfortable and we'll go into that in a moment uh, and then inside the box as well you have this little box here which just contains, uh, contains some uh, earphones that you get in this nice little plastic case again sorry sorry some earplugs sorry you get in this nice plastic case um, same reason as the as the earphones in the other one uh, but you can obviously see there's a little bit more quality to this and then you also get if I can get it out of the box nice quick start guide and a standard guide as well the full hog basically however I haven't actually needed that because everything you need is on here so you'll see wireless charging volume all pretty simple okay so that's what's in the box charging and pairing so let's show you how that charger works pretty simple at the end of the charger here on the right hand side of the headphones you've got this little two little magnetic spots here literally clip that is it super simple very easy to use and charges well and I've tested the charging and it does charge which is a it's a one up on the other one so very easy to do just snap on and go with the charging again fully waterproof no problem with the charging cable I'm absolutely fine with that um, and the pairing for Bluetooth is simple hold the button down for three seconds when it's in the off state for the headphones um, it'll enter it'll the, the headphones will power up and they'll enter into Bluetooth pairing mode all you got to do is look for the BCO1 on your uh, mobile device when you enter your mobile phone onto Bluetooth mode um, and it picks up straight away very simple so comfort and fit so actually I start on these these look pretty good um, so whereas the others are quite round these ones are a bit more sleek so we pop those on they sit very very comfortably that rubber coating around the around the outside of these um, makes it really comfortable to wear it also means that they don't move when you're running they stay in position even when you're sweating they don't move they stay pretty firm really good they feel comfortable next to the skin um, I say they hold well hold in position very well and they're also a bit better when you're wearing a baseball cap because this this piece sits a little bit lower when you put the cap on even back to front um, doesn't seem to Im uh, impede that much which is pretty good again glasses might be a problem when you're trying to wear those at the same time so I expect that would still be an issue I never never tried to be honest with you um, so sound quality uh, is very well works very well uh, podcasts and music are very good these are quite bassy so if you've got a song with high bass you might feel that vibrating your big cheekbones a little bit um, but they are very good sound quality so um, yeah pretty good there all round on on um, on music and and podcasts so um, again if you're running uh, with lots of traffic obviously they will drown out a podcast um, not so bad with music if you've got music on quite loud you'll still hear the music quite well with the traffic but podcasts where people are talking their voices go you know quieter sometimes louder it can be drowned out so uh, but I guess that's the point of these right you're meant to hear the traffic um, so yeah and the buttons which can be found on the right hand side underneath just there very easy to use standard hold you know hold the plus button to turn it on I'll hold the plus button again to turn it off volume up and down and also uh, the same for skip track very simple to use in terms of uh, pros and cons I guess as a kind of like a conclusion for this um, definitely obviously light years ahead of the of the other the other ones uh, the um, Cinefo X15 um, obviously double the price I guess you know they were 40 quid these are 99 so they would they should be better obviously um, but very very positive really all around so good sound quality good level of comfort um, and over long periods of time as well so I've worn these on two long runs now very comfortable to wear um, easy to use Bluetooth pairing was simple the controls work well the battery life is as stated I've got good 
good um, usage out of them and only had to charge it at the end of the second run. So that was basically eight hours worth of running. So says as as it says on the tin, basically. Um, so pretty good in that respect. Um, the charging is simple via the magnetic uh, connector on the cable. Um, I guess the only thing is this is a proprietary cable. If you lose it, uh, you might struggle to get a replacement. So it's just something to bear in mind there. Um, but otherwise, all good. Um, I guess cons-wise, no cons really to speak of. Obviously, they're not cheap. £100 is not cheap for anybody. Uh, but they are less expensive than their counterpart from Shox. So if you're looking at the Shox open run, they are more expensive than these. Um, so that's one positive. It's a positive and, you know, I guess a negative in one in terms of paying £100 for a pair of headphones. But then I guess you, you get what you pay for, as they say. So, um, but I definitely recommend them for purchase. Um, I think they're a good alternative to Shox. I think they're comfortable. I think they would do well on uh, on your long runs and, and things like that. So it's definitely worth a look if you're in the market for some bone conducting headphones. Um, and I guess ironically, um, I've been preparing for the 100 mile race at the end of May. And I had an email from the race director to say that headphones are, are actually banned. So even bone conducting ones. So therefore I won't be using them after all. But um, it's nice to train with them. So uh, I've been listening to some decent podcasts on the way around on my training run so it takes the mind off on the fact that my my legs hurt um on the way around so um all good but um yeah i guess that's just how it goes i think that's it for today um if you've had a look at any of these headphones in the past if you've used either get in the comments below let me know be interesting to see how your experiences are with these uh, both these headphones uh, particularly whether you managed to get the Sunifo x15s to actually charge that would be a bonus um, I'm going to keep hold of these pairs of Sunifo and if somebody comes up with some magical idea of how I can charge them then happy days um, I'll get them charged and then I'll give them the one on the channel um, so uh, let's see the first person to help me get these charged uh, could be the ones that actually uh, I give them to so uh, yeah let me know in the comments below um, but yeah just before we go um, I posted about the RBR charity in my uh, second episode of the uh, Road to 100 Miles, uh, which went out yesterday, uh, or on Sunday, should I say. So if you can um, donate to the charity, it'd be much appreciated. Uh, it's for a very worthy cause. We're trying to raise a lot of money, so it'd be really good if you could get in and donate what you can. So thank you for that in advance. Um, I will leave a link in the description below um, uh, where you can easily click on that and, and donate. If you like this video, please subscribe, uh, hit the like button. There's lots of content coming on the channel soon. Um, by liking and subscribing, you're going to be able to uh, help me bring more videos. Um, we've obviously got lots of running content coming. We've got the 100 mile race in only four weeks time. Um, and there's some more kit reviews coming as well, especially some more shoes as I uh, look to update my, my shoes for the year um, as all the others are worn out. Um, so yeah, you'll be seeing some shoe reviews coming on there as well, road and trail. Um, and yeah, we've got plenty more races as well coming up this year. So keep an eye out on the channel for that. Keep an eye out for episode three of Road to uh, 100 Miles, which comes out uh, next weekend. Um, but otherwise, train hard, race hard, have fun, and until next time, I'll see you soon.